Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, boy, we have a lot of things going on in the world today. And I just want to quickly uh, share with you, uh, we did post a video over on our Patreon channel. Uh, Trump may very well end up in power. Not that the elite really wanted him back in, but then again, that could be debated. I kind of go into that issue in the video as well, because I have believed for a long time that Trump would be coming back in because they would want Trump and Netanyahu almost as if like they're the two witnesses of Revelation 11 coming in. Not that they really are two witnesses, but uh, you know the Jewish people already consider them the two Mashiachs. So many of the rabbis believe that they're the two messiahs. So I go into this here because some of the intel I got out of Israel is speaking about him coming back into power. Uh, some of that intel even suggests he's already gain power control uh, as it is. Uh, but for the best I can tell uh, from uh, my source there is that Trump would come back into power, but it has more to do with a very unusual situation. And I think right here, our Earth's elite preparing to leave the planet will tell you even more information about that. Uh, anyway, as we get into other things, though, let me just share some things with you here real quick. And I'm just going to see if I can pull up something here uh, just for the, for the sake. Let me share out with Charles. Charles has always got something really interesting going on when uh, he shares information with us there. Uh, but I'm looking specifically uh, for issues regarding, um, uh, regarding the issue uh, uh, dealing with with Ukraine. Uh, of course, he did. Charles sent me this one here. A deal was just struck. Welcome to NATO, Sweden. Uh, this is uh, uh, Erdogan of Turkey. I guess he is endorsing uh, Sweden entering into NATO, so it won't be long before they end up bringing Ukraine in, but they want this war to be over. Now, the this, this scary thing is, let's, let's look at uh, Ukraine, Russia, the war there going on. There is a major push. I'm getting this across the board through Intel people there. There is a major push uh, to go into a war with Russia and try to annihilate the country. We already know. I've shared with you how serious that issue is, especially from the information from Edward Hudo, uh, Hudos and how he has t spoke about the uh, basically almost a desire for a genocide of the Slavic people pitting the Russians against the Ukrainians to be able to achieve this objective. Uh, and then you top that off with some other issues that we have going on. Uh, very serious issues there. And hopefully the cat doesn't run into the camera while I'm recording here. Uh, but, um, but at any rate there, you know, when I say very serious issues there, we are certainly dealing uh, with possible catastrophic events that could happen if something doesn't change. Let me just share with you some in intel that I got here. This is from my FEMA uh, contact there uh, speaking. And these were things that's interesting. These are things that I've actually shared with you already. Uh, those torpedo, let's see, uh, this here, let's see, FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force have not so casually expressed to me there may be concern that Russia's new poison uh, autonomous nuclear torpedoes torpedoes have, uh, may have already been deployed off the U.S. East Coast. Sure they were. Here, and, and this is a quote that they're giving me, not that my FEMA contact is saying this directly, but yes, sure they are. If you recall, we actually reported this a little while back, they had actually Im, uh, embedded nuclear devices off of our coast. We don't even know how to track where they are. We're very concerned about what may happen. This is though what he wrote. Those torpedoes can carry up to 100 megaton nuclear warhead. They can travel limitless distances because they are nuclear powered and can be programmed to travel off the coast of an adversary, settle to a depth of about one kilometer and wait for either detonation signal or pre-programmed to automatically detonate at a set date and time. That was the concern that we were sharing with you a little while back there. The detonation of a nuclear warhead that large at a depth of one kilometer would contain a blast energy within the ocean. It would not burst forth into the air. All the blast energy would move uh, enormously amounts of water, creating a tsunami wave, which would head towards our coastline. As the wave approaches the coastline, the seafloor becomes shallow 
as it rises up to shore. When the tsunami hits, that rise of the water piles up top, uh, basically going up to 1,500 foot tall uh, wall of water moving at about 600 miles an hour. Now, not only is that happening, and basically the Biden administration, along with uh, other allies that they have in NATO, are really trying to get a war going with Russia directly. In fact, even now, uh, NATO is beginning to recruit other countries to try to enter into the battle. They want more soldiers on the ground. I am assuming, and I do not know that this is the case, it will probably be African nations, maybe South America. I was not told what those nations were, but I've also been told, too, that uh, another thing that was shared with me was some of the intel, and I've been talking to my intel from the Middle East, mostly Middle Eastern intel, as well as FEMA intel contacts that I have there, that uh, uh, one of the big concerns is, is that Russia has an untested device that they are planning on breaking out and having it ready for use in the event that Putin feels back into a corner. I asked if that would be something somewhat similar to uh, the antimatter weapon. It is not an antimatter weapon, but Russia did uh, develop the weapon after, I think it was after World War II, and that weapon was determined, they never tested it because they were afraid that it could bring about annihilation to their own civilization if it was used. That's how serious it is. So anyway, we got some real problems going on right now, and this is about to get heavier. And, uh, you know, we already mentioned to you before uh, that, you know, this could really go. Boy, I felt the house like it shook here for a second. I'm beginning to wonder, do we have a little, little tiny, tiny earthquake? If we did, it's very tiny. Um, but at any rate there, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that are going on right now, and you know, in fact, let me go ahead and hit, I uh, see there, uh, this is one of the places that they do not want you going at all. Uh, they have been banned from uh, certain platforms here. Uh, we'll almost certainly never allow Ukraine to, okay, let's see. We're not, uh, let's see, there was something I did see on here. Uh, okay, Ukraine is going to receive the F-16s according to what this uh, particular site is speaking about here. Uh, um, Let's see, Wagner Group surrenders heavy weapons. That was interesting to hear about that. Didn't know about that one there. Elon Musk sets up a new AI company. And Moscow rats to NATO summit there. So every, every direction you can look at right now, things are not looking good. And only uh, more expansion. So we'll have to wait and see. There's another thing I want to be sharing too over on Patreon. I did load, like I said, the video there about Trump. But uh, I do want to talk again in a separate video. I'll try to load it in the morning about some technology that Russia is working on. I got some inside information about that, who they're working with, what type of technology they're working on there. Uh, and I do want to talk to another source that I have on that just to get some clarification there. Uh, a former uh, uh, Navy SEAL that might uh, actually be able to help me on that information as well. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support of this broadcast. And I'll be praying about uh, teachings for this coming weekend because I want to share at least one, if not two, teachings this weekend with you. God bless you and have a good night.